Hi, my name is Roger and welcome. I just want to show you that Apogee have a free plugin for a limited time. It's this one, their soft limiter. It's a tape emulation compressor limiter thing that have been included in their AD converters since the 90s. It softens the transients and give you some distortion if you want it. If you want to have this in your arsenal, just go to the Apogee webpage and download it. The link is down below, of course. If you want to see and hear it in action, stay. This is what Apogee say about this plugin on their webpage. Easily add the warmth and character of analog tape to your tracks with a faithful plugin emulation of Apogee's legendary soft limit. And it's a $99 value, but it's free now. How long it's free, I don't know. I can't figure that out. This is how the plugin looks like. We have some metering, input, soft limit, output, in or out, will bypass or not. Oversample. I love when distortion plugins, well, this is a distortion plugin, when they have oversampling. So you can get rid of aliasing if you want to. We have four times, eight times, and 16 times. The oversampling introduced some latency, but if you have latency compensation in your door, you should be fine. Drive is signal into the plugin, then we have a threshold and an output, and also an auto makeup that actually works. I can adjust the threshold and still have the same volume to listen to. All plugins should have that feature. So, how does it sound? I have it on my master bus here, and uh, let's put it on and raise the threshold so it doesn't do anything. And then I will adjust the threshold. You can hear that with four or five dBs of limiting, you really hear some distortion. This says it's a limiter and limiter are supposed to be on the master bus, right? Or in mastering. I don't think I'm gonna use this on my master bus. But I think I can use it on my drum bus to glue some drums. Let's listen to the drums in solo without this on. Yeah, it's drums. Now we'll put it in and adjust the threshold until I hear the distortion and then back it off a little bit. There, I think the bass drum gets a little bit mushy, and then I will back it off a little bit. This may be subtle, but listen in or out. First out. Apogee explains this on their webpage. This plugin sort of round the transients, round, yeah, uh, make the transients less sharp. That means on drums, for example, which are only transients really, we round the transients and therefore we can raise the overall volume of the drums if we want to. There are pros and cons though. If you do it too much, you will lose attack of the drums. If you do it too little, maybe the drums are only an attack. So you, will, you have to find the balance, but I think I found the balance now. Let's listen to a bass. And I have the soft limiter on the bass also. First now, it's not engaged. Yeah, there's a bass. Let's put it in and do the same thing as with the drums. I really love this distortion on bass, actually. It, it, I will use this as a distortion plugin more than a limiter, I think. And in context, because we can't listen in solo.
So there you have it. That's the Apogee Soft Limiter. Soft in Swedish is mjuk. Mjuk. Please subscribe. That really helps me out. Thank you for watching. Until next time, Roger that.